Welcome. In this demonstration, I'm going to show the new sculpt map generation algorithms inside of Prim Composer for 3ds Max version 1.2. First, let's go to the Prim Composer Preferences dialog, and we'll look at the new options that are available. Inside of Export Preferences, there's a new section here called Sculpt Map Algorithms. There are low-res algorithms and high-res algorithms. And you have an option between smooth and hard here and between closest and average in the high-res algorithms. Let's start out with the low-res uh, smooth algorithm. We'll start out by creating a, a, a low resolution sphere. We'll give it eight segments. And you'll notice that this is a standard 3ds Max primitive. This is not a sculpt at this point. Now for the purposes of this video, uh, I'm going to use Sculpt Gen Max. So we'll open Sculpt Gen Max. and we're going to generate a sculpt map from the selected object. Now once we've generated the sculpt map, which you can see previewed here inside the inside of Sculpt Gen Max, uh, we can paste that into the, scan, into the scene as a sculpty. So let's paste it into the scene as a sphere sculpty. So now we have, if we look at this, we can see that this is in fact a Sculpty. It has the Sculpty rollout. And if we were to export this using Prim Composer, uh, this, this would export as a Sculpty, and we can then use Maxport to import it into Second Life or OpenSim. Let's take a little closer look at this. Uh, let's move these closer together. And let's apply a material to them. We'll apply a material there. And we'll apply a material to this one. So this is our original object and our sculpty. Let's take a look at these. First of all, let's look at, um, let's turn on edged faces. Now you can see that the original sculpt, uh, the original object was much lower resolution than the sculpt that we've just uh, just generated. If we look at this closely though, we'll see there's a problem with this sculpt. Everything looks fine in most of the area, but on this one place here, uh, we're missing some faces. And in fact, they've, they've gotten kind of crunched along this edge right here. If you look at the bottom, we see the same thing here. So the first thing we want to do is correct that. So let's look at our original object, and we'll look at its UV map. We'll apply an unwrapped UVW modifier. And then inside of the Unwrap UVW, we'll uh, press the Edit button so that we can see what the UV map actually looks like. Now it turns out, for this algorithm to work, um, first of all, you'll notice that there's some areas of the UV map that are not covered uh, with faces. And that's perfectly fine. But what's not fine here is we need, in order, in order for the smooth, low-res uh, algorithm to work correctly, we need to have a line going along, uh, from up to down, along the left side, and from up to down along the right side. And we can see that in the middle here, our UV map goes all the way to the edge. But at the top and the bottom, it does not go to the edge. 
So we need to fix that UV map quickly. What we can do is just take this last vertex here and just move it across so that it lines up on the edge. And then we'll do the same thing for the edge at the bottom. Okay, that's all we need to do. So now we have the UV map goes completely from bottom to top on both sides now. Let's go ahead and close the UVW editor. I'll close the materials there. And at this point we're done with unwrap UVW so we can just collapse the stack. Now let's, uh, well let's leave that and let's uh, select our original object and generate another sculpt map from it. And now we'll paste it into the scene as a sphere again. And let's go ahead and apply our material. All right, so now if we look at this, we see in our first attempt, we had this problem area. And now if we look at the, the new one after we've modified the UV map, uh, it looks perfect. Let's look at one other option we have. So if we go back to Prim Composer Preferences, Export Preferences, everything that we've done so far was with the low res smooth al algorithm. Let's quickly take a look at the hard algorithm. So we'll just enable the hard algorithm and we'll select the original object again and now we'll generate a sculpt map from this using the hard algorithm. The first thing you can see is that the sculpt map is very different. We have lots of big blocky colors here. Let's paste this into the same as a sphere. Now you can see the, the appearance of this is very different as well. It actually looks like it has the same number of vertices as the original object. But what's actually happened in the hard algorithm is that all of the vertices have been collapsed into these points so that only a few of the faces are actually visible. You can see this, uh, just look at this quickly. You can see that if we select one of these points and we pull it up, that there are actually degenerate faces here where all of the vertices have been bunched up together. Okay, so let's uh, see, see what these uh, sculptures look like inside of OpenSim. You could do this for Second Life as well. Let's select our smooth sculpty and our hard edged sculpty and then go up to Print Composer Export Selected. And I'll just save this into the project junk. And I'll export the textures, but I'm not going to bake them. And press export. And we have an error. Ah, no material assigned. Let's quickly assign a material to this object. Okay. And select both of these again. And again, export selected. I'm going to call the project junk. Okay, and we have success. We've exported two sculpt maps, uh, one texture. 
So now let's use Maxport to upload this to OpenSim. And now we'll log in to OpenSim using the re uh, release candidate Second Life viewer. And we're logging into OpenSim. This is running on my local machine. Give this a second to load the textures. Let's look at it from the same direction. Uh, let's uh, make make some light. And uh, okay, so looking at this uh, inside in world, you can very clearly see that the the textures are being stretched way out of proportion on the hard sculpting. Uh, but what's really cool about the hard sculpting, really the, the only reason that uh, we have it, is that if you go to the texture and you make the shininess, raise up the shininess on this, then you get this really cool effect where it looks very metallic with extremely sharp edges. If you do the same thing to the soft sculpty, you see, even though they're basically the same shape, it's just nowhere near as cool. So, if you want to make really sharp, metallic, edges, the hard edged algorithm is the way you want to go. For everything else, the smooth algorithm is what you're going to want. And uh, the smooth algorithm is the default in 1.2.